Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add the Twitch quick actions to your OBS for fast access to the dashboard options. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, we need to head over to twitch.tv and log in. After you log in, all you need to do is go over to the avatar and click on it and go down to creator dashboard. Once it loads up, go over to the quick actions and click on the three little dots right above it here. It should be right beside where it says quick actions. Click on the three little dots and it will say pop out. We're going to click this here and this is going to pop this window out. What this is going to do is this is going to give us a URL that we can use. So what we're going to do, give this a click and copy it. Make sure that it's copied and give it a close. It'll go back to normal. Now that you've done that, let's jump over to OBS. Once you have OBS loaded up, in the top menu bar where you see file, edit, view, and docs, we want to click on the docs menu. From here, we're just going to go down to custom browser docs and give that one a click. We're going to give it a name, something fancy, you know what I mean? So that we have a good name for it. We're going to name it quick actions. And here in the URL section, we just want to give that URL paste that we just copied. After that, just click apply. This is going to load up something that looks like the other doc containers. And you can just drag this here onto the screen wherever you would like it to go. I'm just going to place it here for now and close this. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. Now, if this is your first time adding it, it is going to ask you to log into your Twitch using your username and password. Unfortunately, I did this here for the example, so it did it skipped that process this time because it was it was recently logged in. So keep that in mind, you will have to log in when it comes up when Quick Actions first loads up. It's going to ask you to log into your Twitch. After you log in with your Twitch, it'll show all of this here information. After you have that done, you'll have a movable dock that you will have all the access to all of your quick actions that you would normally have to go to the creator dashboard for. So this will help with lots of things like if you're going to rate a channel. Um, I know Streamlabs has this here option and I've heard a lot of complaints that Stream Elements doesn't doesn't have it but all you have to do is just add the quick actions doc and when you click on raid it will just be like when you do it from your dashboard so this will give you a lot of options if it happens to error out like this here and you can't read the words and you need to you need to have them done i found just clicking edit on it a few times sometimes it just does that so if that happens, all you have to do is click on it a few times and it'll change back to normal. That is just a glitch that happens even on the Twitch creator dashboard when you pop it out. So keep that in mind, that's another thing that happens. And this will give you access to your one minute ad break and your subs. And that's as easy as it is to set up. You're done after that. And that's all there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.